I had no idea the British press was so bigoted. This one's wife. Why does she never deliver? Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Why is it that the Duchess of Industrial Beige simply doesn't deliver? For example, she had the multi-million dollar contract with Spotify, and it took her two years to get her finger out of her ass, or maybe to get her finger out of Harry's ass, given what we're hearing about her short fingernails and the fact that Harry likes a digit up the yitter. But it took her two years to actually create something. And what was created was piss poor. And we know that actually much of the interviewing wasn't actually undertaken by her, but was done by Minions, and she came along and recorded her part thereafter. The series was shit. It got a lot of listens to begin with. They were grudge listens. And it wasn't renewed. The Spotify said, no absolute bag of wank. You can forget it. We're not going to bother with you any longer. You didn't deliver. But she came along with a 40 by 40 suggestion, which of course she pinched, I think, from Barack Obama or from Nelson Mandela. And where did that get to? Did we hear anything about it? Did it go any further? No. She announced it and it didn't do anything. She didn't deliver. I believe she was going to march on Washington with Gloria Steinem, who appears to be getting rather dusty and cobwebbed on the shelf at the moment. That didn't happen. She was going to go and have lunch with various senators. Talk about parental leave. That didn't happen. She didn't deliver. She was going to ensure that America changed its position with regard to parental leave after writing to, I think, Nancy Pelosi and cold calling certain senators. Yet... Nothing came of it. Oh, what's that? She didn't deliver? <laughs> How about that? She created American Riviera Orchard. Yet here we are, nearly three months on from when that was announced, and you still can't buy anything, and there's still no store, and there's still no products. So far, she hasn't delivered. And if you watched my excellent breakdown, courtesy of my PR expert last week, she really has missed the boat in that regard. What about Netflix? Well, they started strong. There was the six-part docu-series, and then after that it tailed off. Despite a $100 million contract, she certainly hasn't delivered with regard to the content that was required. Thus, there's a bit of a theme here, isn't there? That this one's wife, she starts something and she never finishes it. She commences some kind of scheme or project and she doesn't deliver the goods. Even with Lemonada, she signs a contract with them, but then that gets booted into next year as a consequence of her apparently focusing on her cooking programme. The fact is, with this one's wife, she doesn't deliver for a number of reasons. First, she is intrinsically lazy. Secondly, because of her sense of entitlement, she believes that things should just happen and come to pass because it's her, for instance, that she should just be paid for turning up, because it's her, that she doesn't need to promote things because people will buy it anyway, because it's her, that somehow product will magically create itself, because it's her. Thirdly, it is a consequence of the fact that her narcissism identifies that it's far easier to get to the prime aims by talking about something than actually doing it. Take, for example, the classic narcissistic manipulation of future faking. This is using the future to control the now. It is undertaken by looking to reference a future event for the purposes of the assertion of control and drawing of fuel and maybe getting a residual benefit in the now. A classic example being, I can't wait to marry you, but then the marriage never happens. Or, I'll call you, but the call never comes. Why? Well, as you know from my work, the narcissist is all about the prime aims. That is what governs everything that the narcissist does when it comes to dealing with other people. It's not about kindness. It's not about love. It's not about being impressive. It's about control, fuel, character traits, and residual benefits. Thus... If the narcissism can get those prime aims by saying something, 
in the course of five or ten seconds, for instance, I can't wait to marry you. Or it can get those same prime aims by spending lots of money, spending lots of time organising a wedding. Which one would you think it would go for? Of course, it'll go for the short version speaking about it. In the same way, if you wanted to go and buy a pint of milk, you'd go to your nearest convenience store. You wouldn't get a taxi to the airport, get on a plane, fly to another continent, get a taxi at the other end, go to a supermarket there and do the journey in reverse just for a pint of milk. You'd take the path of least resistance. And the narcissism loves to operate on an economy setting. Thus, with this one's wife, it's no different. If she can get the prime aim by talking about it, that's all that will happen, and there won't be any delivery. Now, some narcissists do deliver. That's because those narcissists recognize the value of delivery for building something which has even greater impact upon the prime aims. But with this one's wife, because of all of the other factors, that feeds into her narcissism, which means I'll just go down the easy route. It's also the fact that rather than actually deliver on something, she's too busy creating illusions. She's too busy focused on basically fabricating concepts, telling lies, revising history, spending her time pouring through social media to see who she can target and pick on next, that she doesn't actually get on with the substantive stuff. That's harder. It requires talent, of which she has none. It requires a diligent endeavour that she doesn't possess. And therefore, instead... Her narcissism directs her to be preoccupied with creating illusions rather than substance, fighting people rather than being constructive, playing the victim rather than dusting yourself down, pulling yourself up by the bootstraps and getting on with it. Her brand or style of narcissism as a middle mid-range narcissist, as a coward but a bully behind closed doors is one whereby she is not going to do something unless really pushed to do so and instead focuses on the small and the trivial rather than actually building something substantial this means that time and time again there's a failure by her to deliver it's also the fact, of course, that because she has no emotional empathy for those affected by her poor delivery, it's not like she's guilt-tripped into getting on with it, because she doesn't experience guilt, or shame, or embarrassment, or remorse. She has no sense of obligation because she has no sense of accountability to ensure that something is delivered. No, she will just fail, because she's focused on the now and not what needs to be done next. She flits from scheme to scheme to scheme because of all of these various factors. And where it all leads to is that she repeatedly fails to deliver. This is symptomatic of the type of narcissist that she is. One that will obviously promise much but deliver very little. And one who doesn't see anything wrong with all of that. Because if you were to scrutinise her, it would be simply the case that it's not her fault. Something got in the way. Somebody else was problematic. Somebody else didn't do their part of the bargain. Remember, it can never, ever be her fault. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.